When I was going through puberty and right after my voice changed, I was frequently made fun of for having a whiny, thin voice. And when I'd hear my recorded voice back, whether I was singing or speaking, what other people said about my voice, those negative things, were swirling around in my head too. Like, oh yeah, I can, I can hear why they think I have a whiny, thin voice. And I became really self-conscious and it worked against me in a big way when I was trying to learn how to sing. Oh, I don't want people to hear these negative aspects of my voice. And so I ended up being quivery and timid and never projecting and also tense. It was not a great place to be. And then I heard I Alone from the band Live, Ed Kowalczyk, and everything changed for me. And the greatest of teachers won't hesitate to leave you there by yourself, change your face. sounding voice good as soon as i started to do that started to think that way and kind of write that way and just just move in that direction i got really excited again there's some similarities between i feel like his speaking voice and my speaking voice still now here's him singing several years earlier here's the thing thin whiny nasal speaking voice it comes out when you least want it, and you get all self-conscious about it. Rather than wallowing in the ridicule and retreating, lean into it and see what happens. Don't worry about doing proper technique. Just have this in your mind. I'm going to take that very thing, nasality or whatever it is, that I hate about my voice when I hear it and that other people are pointing out, and I'm going to turn it up. Turn it up and turn it up and heat it up and out of frustration push my voice to its limits and find the value in something that would otherwise completely ruin you. It's very much like those who are terrified of spiders. We can actually use spiders to help cure their fear or at least dull their fear of spiders. We develop irrational fears in our minds based on what we perceive other people perceiving about us. So what I started doing even in my teenage years is I started turning this insecurity on its head. And when I heard myself sound thin and nasally, I'd make fun of myself. And, and I'd add this burst of confidence while I was making fun of myself. And it brought out an energy, yeah, kind of an angry energy that I hadn't experienced. And the evidence of it that came out in my voice was based in this core sound that I th ended up thinking was kind of cool. But I wouldn't have gotten there had I stayed in the, oh, poor me, I have bad tone. This is that core sound. Eh, 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 whiny, nasally. And yeah, broken up because I'm, I'm yelling at myself for sounding bad. I love the turning up of the very attributes of my voice I dislike ends up getting me exactly where I want to be. <laughs> Your anchor is off, you've been swept away. Away. And the greatest of teachers. Great. Greatest of teachers. That's not pleasant. And the greatest of teachers won't hesitate. To leave you there by yourself, change your fate. I alone love you. I alone tempt you. I alone love you. Fear is not the end of this. I alone love you. I alone tempt you. I alone love you. Fear is not the end. Is this me trying to sound like Ed Kowalczyk? No. This is me exploiting the irritating parts of my voice and calling out the fact that I share qualities 
with Ed in his speaking voice, so I'm going to amp him up, and I'm going to abandon into my performance. A big part of this is just conquering the fear of self-doubt. Fear is not the end of this. Calling yourself out for being bad, stupid, dumb tone, all those things, and going, I know. I know, it's total crap. And leaning into it anyway, not taking yourself too seriously. You will be amazed if you do this, what pops out that you go, oh, that's really cool. Now, in order for you to do this sustainably for the long haul, you'll need to know how the basic mechanics of your voice works. And you'll need to learn how to play in a safe and freeing way. If you would like to go deeper with me and learning those things so that you can freely play with your voice like I'm talking about here, click the link below in the pinned comment or the video description and join my free course. And if you'd like more help specifically with developing your vocal tone, check out this playlist.